check in. So Chadrick's a local of yours, right? I think people are vaguely familiar with Ripple from various situations. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> and now, by now Ripple's got to be a household name. And oh, whether yeah. you're cursing his name or talking about how beautiful his bald head is. Oh, it's um, so bald. So bald, dude. Um, but Chadrick is uh, he's a bit of a local legend in our scene. Um, he's been playing for about five years. Uh, he's always taken the game seriously, but uh, he's been really hitting his stride in the last year or so, especially... Uh, the last three, four months before lockdown, uh, he's been getting a lot better results. He's been improving as a player. Um, he's always just kind of been a local Ike player, but now uh, he's added, uh, funnily enough, Yoshi to his to his arsenal. So uh, we'll be seeing, oh, and possibly Ganon, but we're most likely going to be seeing the Ike. Yeah, so looks like that's what we got right now. The match is starting up here. Yeah, we can see just fine. Yep, we got the gameplay fine. Yeah, so they're uh, Ripple on Ganon and Shadrick on Ike, I think. Yep. Right. Yeah. Uh, that so, looks like it must have been a uh, ban first from from Ripple. From Ripple, really yeah, I, was, I would assume. Don't uh, feel like you hopefully want to see. Ball stages as, like. Yeah, as Ike, I'd probably want to get rid of Battlefield and uh, probably Green Hill. Uh, so. The recovery buff from the wall is nice, but uh, if against a competent opponent... Oh, we're getting Spackle ban. Oh. Against a competent opponent, those... Uh, that wall, that wall is just extending the inevitable. Yeah. So, I personally like staging basically every game one. I think this is fairly close to the most useful stage in the game, which might be a somewhat controversial opinion, but this looks like a hand warmer. Uh, I think not. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. All right. Uh, so there's like one right three the second there, and I was like, <laughs> I can, but uh, no. Okay. Anyway. I like the fair attempt there. Uh, it is a good edge guard against Ganon, just the way he covers, but uh, he accidentally double jumps there and misses his timing. It is a really good opportunity. Yeah, you high recovery does get the grab, though. Oh, I was going to say, uh, high recovery does end up getting the grab. Slight timing mix up for, for yeah. Ganon. Ooh, nice call out on the down B there. Get it right at the startup. Okay, this is a very good lead. Yeah. Uh, as long as he can Ooh. get off the ledge here. Well, that's it, though. It doesn't take too much. Uh, Ike with a jump is uh, gonna have a hard time making it back. You can go up, you can go sideways, can't go diagonally all that well, and you got put in an upper diagonal spot there, so... Yeah, the double jumper really makes up for that diagonal, but without it, it's it's pretty rough. Yeah. Using the, uh, I think the the, the, the side B was his literal fastest option to punish the uh, whiff third jab there. I think was the, the way he was getting in there with that. Oh, yep, yeah, so we just saw it again. He's using that to call out um, quick draw, looks like. Uh, yeah, it's a good forward move. Do you know how that uh, interacts with quick draw attack? Does it usually win? Does it usually lose? A uh, quick draw attack should almost always win in that interaction, just because there is no hitbox to clank with, and the sword is it, it is a sword. It's, it is a big yeah. destroy. It's very big. I've, I've seen the footage. It's large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the more you know about a frame to uh, move out of a burst option. So that's not that's a bad cool. move at all. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard people curse it more than enough times. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Uh, yeah. I, I've definitely heard my fair share over the last eight years. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, get the, uh... Speaking of quick drop, here it is. Yeah, uh, the more you turn, the stronger it gets. Uh, people are probably mean about the one-hit KO potential on it. Yeah. But, uh, honestly, the longer you charge it, it does become a very scary kill move. It's a, it's essentially a game of jousting or chicken. Oh, at yeah. high percent of if he's gonna grab, is he gonna do nothing, or is he gonna do the attack and kill you. Yeah. Uh, but damn, uh, Rome making good use of Nair. Uh, Nair 1 as an extension uh, is incredibly terrifying. It's not a bad hitbox by any means either. Oh, yeah. Ganon single hit Nair? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so good. It's a really great, like, mostly vertical, slightly horizontal pop up that lets you either do it again. I've seen people uh, just, like, do the low single hit on the ground, catch people maybe jumping out of shield to try to roll or something, and then just jump to the platform and hit them with a the single one again up there. Yeah, I think that's where its strength really lies, is uh, yeah. getting that mix-up, that 50-50 on, uh, especially if you uh, can get the mix-up with either Fair or Bear there. Yeah. Uh, the DI is, it, it's such a terrifying position to be in. Oh yeah, because if you're holding out and you don't hold out at quite the right time, and you're holding out the Fair, then you're just super dead. Oh, absolutely. So we got a tight game, though. Uh, yeah. It's been really back and forth. A lot of Ganon early kills, it feels like, and a lot of Chad Drake keeping the, uh, keeping the momentum when he has a punish going and uh, ending it at reasonable percents. Ooh, but that DI not so great. Yeah, it's a rough spot. Oh, he gets, he gets down and waits to roll uh, so he can avoid getting side beat there. And 
covers the distance but can't quite hit the punish. Really good fair though. It. Nice. That uh, that forward air is a, it's a deceptive move. If you look at it in the air, it looks like just a big hitbox. But when you see it, how it interacts with the ledge, oh, it goes uh, the, very, the very bottom hitbox is like damn near 90 degrees. Uh, yeah. Or it, rather, the whole move covers like a, a, a damn near 180 degree arc. Oh yeah. Uh, like speaking from experience with all of our fair, it's basically the same kind of thing. That last hitbox goes like really very steeply downward, and it, it gets people. You can like smash four style two frame people with it, kind of. And I, I would imagine absolutely, yeah. With Ike Bear, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a damn good move. It's really good against characters like Falcon and Ganon, who uh, if they're going for Legend, you call it out. Uh, it, it's it's incredibly powerful. If you get the tip as well, it is weaker, but it sends it a more shallow angle yeah. as the, as it does on most of his moves or all of his moves rather. Uh, and that that'll just kill outright at low percent. Yeah, we are here on Smashville, which I personally consider to be more or less. Oh, I like the cape. Uh, Jab reset. More yeah, that's kind of cute. The stage is not the stadium. This feels like a similar pick. From the game perspective, I'm not sure. There's a huge. Oh, that's that's a call out. Yeah. Not sure yeah. there's a huge difference between this stage and stadium outside of it being a little bit different. They, I personally find, I personally group these. Now that's that's a rough uh, miss there from Jedrick. Finish my thought before we get too far behind it. I consider this more or less the same kind of stage. The characters that are good on one stage are pretty good on the other. So this this feels sort of like. A run backstage when it's really not. Uh, that's, that's an interesting perspective. I I don't think I share it, but I definitely see where you're coming from. It's the same. I think honestly, this is a lot better for Ganon. If I had to choose between the two, uh, okay. special is a lot smaller in in width, and that's yeah, a lot that's really important for for fighting against Psych and for fighting as Ganon. Okay. So I, I feel like this is just uh, objectively a really good pick. Makes sense. From, uh, from Ripple. Oh yep. Ooh, but that move is, uh, <laughs> that's the Blame Ripple move. That's the Ripple special, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually one thing that made uh, Shadrick pick up Ganon, was he just loved spamming up tilt. And honestly, that move is, uh, it's not awful if you know where to space it. Yeah. Uh, and that first hitbox, like, is deceptively inside of him, so it can cover rolls at awkward distances. Oh, yeah. I've, I've gotten hit by the first hit of up tilt in spots where I just didn't think it was. Yeah, uh, that is a big strength of the move. Yeah. Uh, but that should be... Oh, it's up Give a ledge. Let's see if we can make something. Oh, grab and... It's the right DI, but I'm tipping over the gap. Yep, that was good coverage. Uh, good recognition to go for the DI mix. He's been doing a lot of down throws, so... Yeah. Made sense. While the mix-up didn't actually get him the fair, got him close enough, and he uh, had the good patience to stick around and wait to see what his, re what his first uh, recovery option was going to be. He covered it and called it a day. Yeah, uh, that, that is another thing. That's, uh, sometimes these characters kind of get grouped together. Like, Ganon and Ike have some similarities. Um, yeah. Some people could play both. Um, the big thing with, with that mix-up is, for Ike, that mix-up is almost always amazing because you either get the awful DI and you get the freest forward air. Or, oh, yeah. uh, at high percents, some characters just, they DI it too well to the point where at 100, they just cannot recover. And a character like Ganon, uh, if the if the rolls were swapped there, Ganon probably would have just outright died there. Yeah, that makes sense. His recovery does not go particularly high. <laughs> uh, not at all. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like getting hit by a surprise Sheik Fair at that point. Uh, um, it's 1-1 right now. Ripple yeah. won the last one. So, uh, the bear is FD and Delfinos. Ooh, three uh, I think like this one's pick. usually a bit of a gamble. Yeah. Uh, who wants the walls for the recovery? Green Hill's not necessarily a bad egg stage. Uh... Small stage for Ganon though is is still beneficial for Ganon, so yeah. uh, I guess he's just hoping to capitalize off of early kills. Maybe and, recovery uh, off the wall. In yeah, something like Titman would give you cause for wanting a wall. Just a little uh, late on that uh, F tilt from yeah. Ripple. Is it better to hit the top of Ike's FB with F tilt or space fair or back air? Or... Uh, my opinion, forward air and back air are both good for it. Uh, it depends on what set of options you want to cover. I think a close in back air can work if you think the Ike is going to try to retreat with the uh, with the up B yeah. and try to space himself more horizontal. But if you call out uh, them going for a potential like little higher than the sweet spot and try to land on stage, retreating forward air can cover that as well as the mix up of, of them trying to trick on. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, F tilt's also good. Uh, if you know for a fact they're going for the sweet spot, you can uh, 
put yourself a little bit further out. Yeah. The uh, the hitbox on the down angle that I think goes a little further down than it used to, so that might be helpful for that also. Oh, that'll do it. Oh wait, no, we missed it. Yeah. He uh, goes. I mean, that was a good mix-up. Uh, he yeah. definitely could have. Uh, I don't think Ripple would have had the uh, forethought there to go for a reverse up B, just because it's a little bit awkward to get the ledge grab there. But in that situation, Shadrick could have up b and and uh, continued a, another mix-up further with the uh, with the recovery with the hitbox. Yeah. It was, looked like a, a missed time by him. Looked like that. He was definitely look, I think he was just definitely looking for the uh, the real spike hitbox there, and maybe got a bit lost in the where he actually was the stage. Because I don't think Ripple hit him again there. No, that was just a straight up uh, SD afterwards. Yeah. Anyway, I like, the, uh, I like the patience from Ripple so far. Uh, his recoveries yeah. have been, uh, he's been making them up well. That's a good F tilt, by the way. Yeah. Um, there are there are multiple ways to to fight against Ike up B, and uh, that is one of them, is to wait for right before he starts to descend. Uh, you can throw a hitbox out there. Yeah. Gets the DI mix up. And okay, up air will kill. Alright. See how fast Chadwick can clean this up. Yes, he gets away from that in time, but can't quite convert on it. Fair, we'll do it, yeah. Little late on the ledge dash there, does get punished. Ooh, gets away with a nair at zero. Fall from such a great height, too. Oh! Bit of a, a bit of a spicy option there. Yeah. Looks like Ripple's trying to swing his way in. I would like to see some more defensive up tilts and F tilts from from Shadrake. Yeah. He, he uh, oh, I like that. I like that nair. Ooh. Oh, there. He's gonna down B. Oh, that's guard, man. Yeah. That'll do it. All hey, right. Shadrake over Ripple. Shadrake over Ripple. Yeah, I like what I saw there. He did a good job keeping himself safe. He didn't commit to anything too crazy. Um, he, made, he made sure to make good use of when he was off stage. He started hitting the edge guards a lot better towards the end of that set there. Um, yeah, I think he played that really well. Yeah, it looked like Ripple was getting a little bit antsy. At least from my perspective, yeah. it felt like he was starting to swing a lot. I, I don't do. think he wanted to play the mid-range game anymore with Ike, so I felt like he wanted to do what he could to at least play some sort of mix-up game, but play a lot closer up. So he would try to push forward regardless of what Ike was doing, it felt like, just because he wanted to make sure he was out of that um, quick draw threat range. Makes sense. Yeah, very good stuff from Shadrick. Yeah. Cool. So, so, yeah, um, just waiting on another match. See what else is going on in that pool. 